All right, we are recording now. Hi, Carissa. My name's Vanessa, and this is Jennifer. Hello. Hi. Hi. So, um, I would like to come in and ask you some questions tonight. That's be okay with you. Yes. Okay. So we're in here. Um, you called for help tonight. Yes. Um, so um, have you wished you were dead or wished you could go to sleep and never wake up? Um, actually, I have frequent thoughts of those. Sorry, the nurse gave me a popsicle. I'm just going to eat it. Okay. So I have, hold on. I have frequent thoughts about it um, when I am usually really stressed out, especially when it comes to school and mm -hmm. finances. Um, though when I wake up in the morning, I feel better. Okay. And um, how long have you had these types of thoughts? I would say a lot of my adult life. So for the past like 14 years. Okay. And how and how about how um how often have you had them within this last week? Um four times. Okay. In the past week. Okay. Um, so today, how intense was this thought today? So today was really intense. And instead of just going to sleep, it was really difficult for me to just let it go. And so the only really means that I had in my house were my prescription Xanax. And so I wanted to just take the whole bottle and not wake up. Okay. So on that scale, can you, do you have, can you scale that for me? What did it feel like today? The intensity was, yeah. I would say, it got to a 10 and yeah. I was, sitting there and like in the back of my head I was saying Carissa you don't want to do this you don't want to do this and then my best friend called me in that moment okay. all right so you had pills in your hand um what type of pills were they they were um 0.5 milligrams of what again? Xanax. Xanax, okay. How many pills were in that bottle? Do you know? Probably about close to two months worth almost. Okay. And that's one pill a day? Yes. Okay, so I mean, close to 60 pills? Yes, I'd say 50. Give or take. Okay. 0.5 Xanax. Okay, so what did you think about when you had those pills in your hand? That it would just be easier for me to take all of these pills instead of stress about all the financials and everything that's coming up especially with school. Okay. And the kids are not here with me this week. And so that's been a huge impact on me as well, just being alone. Okay. All right, I think Jennifer might have some questions for you now. 
Hello. Hi. How are you feeling? Um, I'm actually feeling a lot better. Um, after I called for help, they've treated me really well here at the hospital. That's good to hear. Here. Would you like to stay overnight for a few hours just to help with getting over to help with any trouble you might be having? Yeah, I just don't feel like going home would be the best option for me, um, especially with, you know, going there and feeling like I have to be babysat by a friend. Right. I'd rather have medical help. Okay. Well, we have a receiving center that we can help get you um, admitted. Um, I have a few more questions. Um, when you thought about making yourself not alive anymore or killing yourself, did you think that this was something you might actually do? Yeah, there was a, f a few moments where I would just told myself, just do it, just do it. And then something always stopped me. And I'm grateful that I got the phone call that I did. Do you think that we, in your safety plan, we can put that down as a trigger? Yeah. Being alone for sure. Being alone is a trigger. Yeah, that's one of the hardest things for me is when I'm alone. Okay. Um, have um, you ever made a plan for committing suicide? I've never made, well, I've never made a plan that lasts like prior days, but I have made a plan where it was in that moment, like immediate where I wanted to end my life. What was but the plan? It was unsuccessful. The first plan is when I tried to harm myself by using illicit drugs. Two minutes left. Okay. Um, I have a question. Yeah. Now that we've spoken here, um, what is the level of, what's your level, your scale of severity? Now that on, we've, a one now to that ten, here and we've had a chance to talk. I would say on a one to ten level, the severity is very low, like a three. Okay. Um, removing me from my environment and having you guys talk to me and actually take the time to listen means a lot. Okay. All right, Carissa. Well, I think that um, we have a lot of good information from you. And I think that um, we're going to get you the help that you need. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Right. Thank you for talking to us today. Okay, bye-bye. Well. Okay, now we